And we'll be talking more about the breeding, Building Bridges Initiative, I beg your pardon, in a few minutes right here on our checkpoint uh, discussion. Now, Opposition Chief Raila Odinga says he is not interested in 2022 politics and that he will communicate directly to the nation when and if he changes that position. But just what is Raila's game plan in the aftermath of his cooperation deal with President Kenyatta? Well, political affairs reporter Muremi Mwangi interrogates on this week's edition of House of Cards. Since his flopped shot at State House in the 2017 polls, which had been dubbed as his last bullet, opposition chief Raila Odinga's detractors and critics alike, but have as well warmed up to his retirement. But a month and 27 days since his surprise ceasefire handshake with his top competitor and arch political rival President Uhuru Kenyatta, the man acclaimed as the enigma of Kenyan politics has yet again been thrust to the middle of 2022 politics. But we are aware of the history of Raila Odinga that he would want to undermine the presidency or uh, any ambition of his excellence, the deputy president, William Bruto. We are not responsible for the political implications of, 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 of this deal. Uh, we are only responsible towards articulation and resolution of the issues. But just what is Odinga's political game plan? Well, on Sunday, Odinga, through his spokesman, Denis Onyango, said he was disinterested in 2022 politics, but added that if and when he wants to communicate something to the contrary, will do so personally and on a national forum. <laughs> This even as Odinga's ODM party stop organ, the National Executive Committee, proceeds to Naivasha on a two-day retreat in a series of meetings which insiders say will review the party's political game plan heading to the 2022 polls. Part of the likely scenario being fronting Odinga yet again for the top seat. Issues resolved. And despite Odinga's detachment to 2022 politics, his strategists are openly keen on harvesting political capital from the newfound Odinga Kenyatta unity, which has in recent days rattled Kenyatta's deputy, William Ruto's 2022 presidential bid. I think it's a political move, and it must end somewhere. Uh, I think will, sooner than we think there will be some kind of power sharing. But the ultimate will be in 2022 or whenever there will be some major change to the constitution. Our ultimate uh, aim is always to extend the frontiers of, of, of our sphere of influence. And if a chance presents itself for us to extend and open up further frontiers and gain further territory, uh, we are always more than ready. To, to seize such a moment. We have told William Ruta that if Raila comes, don't close your eyes when they are praying. We have even instructed the old men and the, and the religious leaders will get holy water from River Jordan so that in case Raila Odinga comes within the, the earshot or within the prisons where deputy president is, within the, the office, will come and sprinkle holy water to protect him from the history of destruction of parties. <laughs> But widely viewed as a likely launch pad to Odinga's 2022 realignment is the ongoing debate on a likely amendment of the 2010 constitution. <laughs> One likely to thrust Odinga as the top protagonist in a subsequent referendum. President Kenyatta avoided the subject during his recent State of the Nation address. But insiders say likely amendment to the Constitution is part of his March 9th deal with Odinga. With key Odinga allies rooting for an amendment to revert to the bomber's draft parliamentary system of government with a prime minister and two deputies. A structure which would radically alter the 2022 political metrics with Odinga either as a key protagonist or as a kingmaker to the winning coalition. I think Raila is uh, a member of the executive without portfolio. <laughs> because clearly there are pecs that have come with it and which is quite unfortunate because that is not the kind of administration we should we'll expect to have. It's not supposed to be given more like executive authorities. He can support anything positive that the government is doing, but he will stand on, he will stand on the other side 
if the government is doing something wrong because the role of opposition is to put the government on 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 its toes to make sure that we correct where they are going wrong. A 16-member team headed by Ambassador Martin Kimani and lawyer Paul Mwangi, who jointly picked by Kenyatta and Odinga to advance their initiative beyond the handshake, is due to hold its first meeting this week, even as the 2022 political drumpets intensify. Murimi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.